How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Expert Mode Let's Play for Terraria 1.3. So first and foremost I have to say a massive thank you to your overwhelming support for our new series. It's um, it's very humbling as a YouTuber to, you know, you put a new series out there and you don't know what people are going to think of it. And you know, I, I logged in, sorry Bunny, <laughs> I logged in later that day and yeah, just so much support, so many nice comments, it's it's really great to see. So thank you so much everyone for your support, I really appreciate it. Alright, so let's, uh, let's start talking about our adventure today. So, to those of you who have been asking, his name is Wolfgang, Wolfgang the Warlock. You know, I like to use a bit of alliteration uh, in my character's names. Uh, probably the reason I didn't uh, say it last episode is... I guess I've said that this isn't a story series, it's more just a gameplay one. Um, so yeah, I don't know, but some of you did say it still would be cool to have an intro cinematic, even if it's not going to be a story series, and I kind of liked that idea. Um, so let me know in the comments, like, if you'd be happy with that, like... But, um, yeah, like, still very cool. So, we have explored to the right of our world, but we haven't explored to the left, so... I thought this would be a great opportunity to uh, do a bit of mining, move to the left, see if there's anything interesting. So there's a chest there, which I'm going to grab in just a moment. Um, so yeah, and just see, whoa, <laughs> see if we can't get some uh, powers up. So thank you to everyone that reminded me, you only need three fallen stars for a, um, a mana star now. I keep forgetting, it used to be five. Ooh, plant oh, 4% critical strike, nice. <laughs> That'll go nicely with our shackle, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, and a herb bag, they're actually pretty cool. And there's a tiny bit more uh, lead, which is really, really handy. And it looks like we're about to hit a desert here, which is very, very nice. Um, I was really concerned, like, I, I, I know I want to make a gemstone staff, but um, it can be a bit tricky to find enough gems, and some of you suggested, you said, well, Happy, you know, why don't you try out the Extractinator? And I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, I just, I literally couldn't believe I didn't think of that. Like, so normally the Extractinator is nice early, but it's not like, oh my gosh, I need it desperately. But it's actually going to be kind of useful for us, so that's really cool. Although, oh my gosh. <laughs> can barely hurt these slimes. <laughs> Alright, let's just move straight past. And I might grab these water leaf too. Cool. Um, to those of you, I had a few people ask, and you said, oh, happy, why are you still using swords? Um, so, if you're new to my channel, our channel rather, um, I usually use swords at the start, just until, like, the character's weapons come online. So, obviously, I have a very small mana pool and a very weak weapon. Um, so I'm sure you guys don't want to spend, see me fight for five minutes fighting the one slime. So, you know, I will use a wooden sword just until we can get our mana online here and possibly get a gem staff happening. I might just grab, there's a bit of tin and normally I ignore those really weak ores like that, but, uh, tin could be part of a really good staff. It's either the Topaz Staff, I'm pretty sure it's the Topaz Staff, you use tin in, so... Alright, I'm gonna try and jump past him. Yep, beautiful. Alright. So, there's normally some good stuff down in these caves, but it's also very dangerous, so... Let's just make our way down. Oh, that's a big drop. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Um, I've got rope. <laughs> I've got rope. Everything is gonna be okay. Alright. Ooh, we're getting into dangerous territory here, people. So, obviously, hoping to find an extractinator if we can get one. That'd be really cool. And I just heard that horrid uh, insectoid noise. That means there could be something about to try to eat me, which we don't want. Oh, there it is. What are they called? Antlion charges. So there's no way I can beat those at the moment. No way. But we can dig around them. So that is a possibility. And there's lots of lead at the moment. So this is kind of nice. Kind of nice. 
Um, yeah, so, yeah, thank you so much for the support. So this uh, episode will be going up uh, a day early, which is kind of cool. And there's even a farming episode coming out not long after this one. Like, literally a couple of hours after. So you've got plenty to watch today, guys. So, yeah, thanks for that. Thanks for supporting my new vids. And, yeah, I love to, you know, you help me, I love to help you. All right, so uh, let's get this... Uh, for those of you wondering about Yaren, uh, he'll be- oh my gosh. Okay, that got bad fast. And how much? 140 health. It's a real shame, you know, because I want to keep exploring. Oh, maybe I can trap it. <laughs> it's not a bad strength. <laughs> Alright. So we've got to be super careful. Super, super careful. Because... It there could be good stuff in here. We just need to, just need to play it smart. All right. So there's the killer bug there. All right. Let's dig down. There's often gold chests and everything in here. So, all right. Let's put some blocks in in advance. Oh, there's one of those flying thingies. What are they called? They're actually they die quick enough, but they're um. Oh, is that the desert fossil? Oh, it must be. And we need a nightmare pickaxe or above to get that. So, yeah, that's, that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> um, some of you said to get the Reaver Shark ASAP, which I think is a great idea. Oh my gosh, this is dangerous. Oh my gosh. Okay. And, oh, don't be out of torches. Let's not do that. Alright, plenty of torches. Okay, I should be able to dig right through the middle here. <laughs> yep, just dig through the bad guys. Actually, I can probably... Should I be using wood for this? Let's just... Oh, no, that might be good for... Uh, uh, yeah, let's just use wood. I can probably put wood down. And that way, I can still mine all the beautiful silver. Because silver is really nice. And we need new armor. Big time. <gasps> I thought for a moment that thing was about to glitch through. I'm like, that's like instant death if that happens. So it's not even going to be a... There will be no combat. It'll just be me dying. <laughs> oh, okay, there's some more desert fossils. So let's try and dig around it. So I know these ant caves are pretty big. So we'll just keep going... I mean, there's usually at least two or three treasure rooms, so let's find at least one. We've got to find one. Alright, here we go. We're in a new area. Cool, there's nice bars. There's more tin. Alright, let's follow the ore. Let's follow the treasure path. Beautiful. Okay. So, I suppose uh, if we can get some more fallen stars, that'll be nice. If we can get an extractinator, and we can start finding some slush, hopefully get some gemstones, and yeah, get a gem staff, that'd be nice. Alright, looks like... Let's keep going down. It looks like there might be another pathway just to the side there. Uh, is it leading anywhere though? I don't know. Let's, let's have a look. Let's have a little look-see. Oh, I love exploring. It's so exciting. Especially when it's such so death-defying as well. <laughs> if one of these mobs catches me, I'm so dead. <gasps> no! I can't beat those wormy things. I, I seriously can't. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I've got to listen for it. I've got to listen and talk. Is that even possible? Oh gosh. Oh, what are we going to do? I want to find some treasure. Maybe it's gone away. Yeah, yeah. That's like in those horror movies where they go, Oh, I think they're gone. And then all of a sudden, like, the, the baddie jumps out and, like, kills someone. It's like, ah! Oh, my gosh. All right, let's, let's keep going down. We'll follow the killer worm. But I will put my recalls in my hot bar now. So, it would be silly to die. Unnecessarily. Alright. 
We're in a new area. Found some cobwebs. A few more vases. Very nice. Okay, let's keep going. <gasps> this is so exciting. <laughs> and the threat of worm. <laughs> the threat of impending... <gasps> no, there it is! Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm trying to listen for it. Oh no, there it is! Ah! Is it coming back? Oh my gosh, we can do this. <gasps> there's a room! No, there's a worm in a room! Oh, and a charger! Can you can you not come this way? Thanks. Alright, let's... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Alright, we can do this. Come on, guys, come on. We can do this. We can do... Oh, it's an extractinator! Come on, come on, come on! This is a snatch and grab, people. Oh, magic mirror, this is so good. Oh my gosh, the worm, the worm! Oh, there's a door! There's a worm and a door! Ah! <laughs> this is kind of fun. The worms don't appear to be as aggressive as the normal worms are. Which is kind of nice. Oh, what's... Should... I think maybe we should escape. What do you think? We've been pretty lucky so far. Been pretty lucky. Oh! A life crystal! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! This is so tense, guys. I'm... I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe... Oh. That worm. Uh oh. Oh yeah, there's a stand there. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I just want to keep pushing on. This is so exciting. <laughs> okay. Or oh, no. Nah. Let, let's let's go. Let's go. We that was pretty good. That was pretty cool. All right. Let's get some more mushies and back up to base. Ah, safety. Ah. Okay. Wow. We got a magic mirror already. Oh, I love it. And we got life crystal. I love that too. Oh goodness. Well, we can sell all our recalls now, which is kind of fun. Uh, anything else we don't really need? No, we can use it all. And we got the Magic Extractinator, so let's put that down. That's going to be super, super useful. Um, but we don't have anything to put in it yet. Is it Slush and... Slush, Silt, Fossils. Okay, so we need all of those. That's pretty cool. And we got an Angel statue. Let's put it up there. <laughs> because why not? And we'll get rid of those extra torches. There we go. That looks a bit more epic. Alright, uh, I think it's time for some inventory sorting. And then we'll uh, maybe start building our elevator. <gasps> Exciting! Okay, so it's a bright new day and we've survived the zombie apocalypse. And nice timing, traveling merchant. I love it. There he goes. He's playing to the left of our base. So let's go say hi. In my measly one gold and 44 silver. But we might be able to get some uh, food buff stuff, so let's see. A magic hat. Oh, that'd be so good. Wow. Three gold, though. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, apart from that, a few of you have said uh, get the cloaks off him when he sells them. Um, wow, I really want that magic hat. But 7%. Increase on 8 damage is not much. <laughs> so, I really want it, but we can't afford it at the moment. So, let's pass for now. Um, so, I think the time has come to... I do want to buy it. I'll buy it later, though. Uh, the time has come to start building our halivator. Um, and I thought before we do that, though, we have got a nice selection of bars here. So, let's see if we can upgrade our pick. Uh, we can make a lead one, which is kind of cool. Alright, no modifier, but sometimes no news is good news. <laughs> Demonic copper. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, gosh. Alright, let's sell that bad boy. Mr. Copper, you're gone. And I've got one builder potion from a chest. Let's see, we've got one gold. Maybe I should get a piggy. Should I get a piggy? One gold. Whoa. Oh, bug nets are only 25 silver. They used to be gold, I'm pretty sure. Uh... I'll get one later. Okay, beautiful. And we've got a mana star. Finally. Um, 
Beautiful. All right, we're up to 40 mana. Life is good. Okay, so what we'll do... Uh, I usually like to just build my elevator straight underneath uh, my normal base. So just like that. Simple as that. Um, and the lead pickaxe should speed things up nicely, I believe. Oh yeah, that's pretty good even without the potion. <laughs> and I know there's a bit of tin there. I'll get it. I'll get it later. <laughs> Uh, we've got plenty of rope, got the magic mirror, yep, this is good. Let's have our builder potion. That's, that's all nice. Oh no, I'm out of torches, are you kidding me? Uh, I probably could have just made some, couldn't I? <laughs> oh my gosh. I was like, oh, we'll go buy some. And then I'm like, hmm. Oh, it's a builder potion, not a mining, oh my god, happy. Happy, put your helmet on. <laughs> oh, I always get those two confused. You guys are probably thinking, what on earth is he talking about? It's a builder potion. Oh, no. That is... That is quite a decent fail, that. <laughs> oh, but here's some lead to make me feel a bit better about that. Oh, gosh. It's, it's actually quite nice under our base here. Normally, it's quite cavernous and there's like you know, gaps and things everywhere, but this is, this is kind of nice. Although maybe I shouldn't speak too early. It might get a bit crazy down in the depths here. Oh gosh. So what are we hoping for? Well, first and foremost, we want gemstones. We want gemstones so we can upgrade our staff, or upgrade to a magic staff. And maybe some silt and slush, uh, which, you know, I generally ignore it for the most part, but it might be very cool if we can find some. It would be nice. And it would be nice to make a grappling hook too. Oh my gosh, we need so many gems. <laughs> but that's okay. Alright, so far so good. We're just making our way down. Alright. And we've hit a bit of a snag here. Uh, it's never nice to run into water when you're trying to build your halivator. But that's okay. Let's have a quick quick little look around. Alright, doesn't look like there's much to that side. And we've got a... yep, cool. No, not much in there. Alright, I might try and drain some of this water off, maybe. Uh, I think I've got a glow stick. Nice. Or am I wasting... oh yeah, here we go. Oh, so I would have drained off anyway. Uh, let's... Okay, get the water going this way. That's better. And then put that in there. And now if I can just make my way back up, we can continue our halivator as nature intended. Beautiful. I'm trying to, I normally build like all over the place and not just straight down. And I used to do it a lot in my first few Let's Plays, but you spend forever, like, fixing up your elevator later on. So I'm trying to do it right from the start. As much as possible. As much as breathing allows. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh, there's a bit of tin. A bit more tin. Okay. Not drowning too quickly, which is nice. You can do that trick where you put blocks on your head. And then the water... Yeah. And then you can, like, get your breath back. Which is kind of cool. I like that. Oh, yeah, of course I can't put torches down. I'm underwater! <laughs> is that a boulder? Boulder! Haha! -ha. Gotcha! I hope that doesn't mean I'm about to die by a boulder. <laughs> okay, here we go. <gasps> rubies! 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 Oh my gosh! I need to get to them. Let's cut. Let's go across here. This is exciting. <gasps> Rubies! Oh my gosh! Wow, this is... <laughs> I was just remembering back to when we were in the desert part with the worms and I was like going silent. I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to listen to it so bad. Oh gosh. Okay. That was a nice amount of rubies. It wasn't a crazy amount, but it was okay. It's a start. Alright, I suspect... It looks like there's a bit of something, something... Ooh, silver. Very nice. We shall... Take some of that. 
It's it's quite a nice cave so far, except for that little water pocket. It's been okay. Oh, golden chest! Yes. All right. So obviously I'm going to use a sword to clear cobwebs because that's just efficient. It's uh. Oh, I guess my magic staff kind of works. Oh my gosh, another magic mirror. <laughs> oh, let's use one of them now, actually. Um, I had a had a let's play, I can't remember which one, and I got like four magic mirrors. It was just, it was crazy. It was out of control. Okay, I won't collect this planked wall now. As much as I would like it. Maybe I could come back and get it later. Okay. Let's see. Let's have a little sneaky peek up here. Just make sure there's nothing amazing. Oh. Is that, is that? Oh, guys, it's another room. It's another room. So good. Ooh, it's got some furniture too. It's kind of nice. It's kind of, it's kind of alright. Ooh, another golden chest. We like. Alright, let's grab the golden chandelier. And some more lead. And some of you have asked me, you said, am I going to use the meteor set? And yes to the armor, no to the space gun. Um, the space gun is just a bit... Oh, yeah! I still feel the space gun's a bit OP. Alright, we've got Cloud in a Bottle. That's a big boost, guys. Quite happy with that. Alright. Very nice. Ooh, there's a ni nice amount of cobwebs around here. This is really good. Okay. Beautiful. Alright, guys, I'm going to grab some of this planked wall. Um, to help when we're building our next levels of our base and I'll see you once I'm done. Okay, thanks so much for watching another episode of our new Mage Expert Mode Let's Play for Terraria 1.3. I'm having such a good time in this new series and we're doing okay so far, you know, we found some good items, we're getting plenty of gems and bars and all that good stuff. So hopefully we can craft a gemstone uh, staff soon or maybe even some gemstone robes would be cool as well. So keep that feedback coming through the series, guys. Let me know what you're liking, not liking. And I think you guys know me by now. I'm always interested in feedback as long as it's constructive. Alrighty. So let's uh, do some shout-outs as always. And our first one is from Dane Sig. And they've asked me to say Toy Boat five times really fast. This is a really popular one. It comes up a bit. Okay, so... <gasps> toy Boat, Toy Boat, Toy Boat. <laughs> you can't do it. Toy Boat, Toy Boat, Toy Boat. You end up saying like Toy Boat, Toy Boat. <laughs> Thanks, Dane. That was awesome. Our next one is, and sorry if I pronounce your last name incorrectly, it looks like Luthi, Lucy Bethke. It's B-E-T-H-K-E. Bethke? Um, and they've asked me to say in a yarn voice, they've asked me to see a long time ago in a cookie far, oh, far away. <laughs> nice Star Wars reference. I love that. <laughs> That's so cool. Thanks, Lucy. Our next one is from Gamers from the Web, and they've asked me to say, You can't have Cookie Crisp for breakfast, but you can have cookies. Thanks, Gamers. That's awesome. Our next one is from The Potato Killer, and they've asked me to talk in an old man's voice. They've asked me to say, Back in my day when we were baking our own cookies, and we were better for it. <laughs> Nice one, Potato Killer. That's awesome. And our last one is from Nick Donnell. And they, they've done a really cool thing. They've asked me to give a shout out to their friend for their birthday. So, this is a very happy birthday to his friend, William. So, or will I am. <laughs> so, I hope you have a really good day, William. And get lots of presents and spend time with your friends and family. And Nick, that's really cool. You did that for your friend. So awesome. Alright guys, so keep showing that support for this new series, and as I explained, because there's less editing in this, if I'm ahead of time, and I've got the normal video out, and you know, if you're showing a lot of love to it, I can get those extra vids out for you, if that's what you would like. <laughs> so click that like button, it only takes you half a second, use your forehead, throw a cupcake at it, ask your cat to try and push it, cat piano, why not? And uh, yeah, I've already asked for the comments, so you guys know what you want to say, keep leaving that, leaving me that awesome feedback, I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click the little HD icon in the bottom right corner. We're going to do a subscriber celebration soon, so I'm sure you all want to be part of that. It's going to be lots of fun. Alright, here's the most important part as always, you guys stay happy.
and I'll see you next time. This is Happy Days signing out. See ya. And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides. The mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. Just, just oh, he's got 3,000 health! <laughs> he's only got 3,000! <laughs>